evil lover. You love wickedness and you hate righteousness. You love yourself and you hate God's word. You guys are lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Hell is real, and you will experience it one day. God says, oh, you see, you'll laugh and you'll mock today, but on the day of judgment, you'll weep and wail. You'll gnash your teeth. You will wish you could go back and change your mind. On that day, you will thank me for telling you the truth. You will thank Patrick for telling you the truth before God casts you into the lake of fire. Your soul is going to be brought before a living God. God's going to resurrect your body, put your soul back into it, and give you a body that will live forever. And then God is going to torment you forever because you would not turn at his rebuke. You would not hear his voice when he says, turn and I will heal. Oh, I tell you that God has raised up this generation to destroy it. A generation of young people who are rebellious, who are haters of God, haters of Christ, haters of the Word of God, and He's going to destroy the world by fire, and everything will be burned up, just like He destroyed the world by water, and all the dinosaurs were destroyed, young lady. Wrath of God abides upon you. Turn from your wicked ways before it's too late. Jesus said, unless you repent, you will perish. God commands that all men everywhere repent and obey the gospel of His Son. It's not a, a request, sir. God commands it. I know you think because judgment is not executed speedily, you think judgment's not coming. God says because judgment is not executed speedily, the heart of man is fully set to do evil. And you are evil. You need to rend your hearts before God. Obey God. Uh, God doesn't believe in you either. God says the fool has said in his heart there is no God. And they have done wicked and abominable things. There is none who does what is good. All right, God's going to cause all creation to testify against you on the day of judgment. The heavens and the earth cry out that there is a God. No, I'm not going to shut the hell up. I'm going to tell you to get that way out of the broad way that leads to hell and turn to Jesus Christ before it's too late. Because Jesus Christ created hell for people like you who rebelled against him. You would not have Jesus Christ to rule over you. On that day, you'll be beaten with many blows. You'll be cut to pieces on that day. This is what the Bible says. God says, woe to you who call good evil and evil good. Communism. I know, you like Obama, communists. You want to be like China? You want to be like Russia? Oh, God says they're not doing a good job. Oh, it's okay. You can kiss. You're not offending me. You're offending Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ, when, he's, when you stand before him on judgment, you're going to fear and tremble on that day. Oh, you don't know what fear and trembling is. Oh, I am righteous in Christ. You're the one that's self-righteous. Most of you think you're going to go to heaven because, oh, I'm good. Oh no, you're not going to rot in the ground. Nobody's going to rot in the ground. Everyone who's ever been born is going to be resurrected at the voice of Jesus Christ. Are you coming to this, man? What's right about it? Where did Jesus Christ tell you to follow after the traditions of the world? Oh, let me read it to you. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. But listen, you got to read on. He said, but this is your condemnation. Light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than the light. I'm a Christian. What kind of Christian are you? The one that mocks God? The one that draws near to him with your mouth but your heart is far from him? Jesus called you a hypocrite. It's not very loving, sir. I'm not cussing and swearing at you. How do you like my costume? I got bright orange. That's so you'll get, I can get your attention and warn you about what God says. To tell you about what Jesus Christ says. No, Jesus Christ didn't say what you said. You're liars. Jesus said all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. Oh, Jesus Christ is going to throw all the Jews into hell that didn't obey him. Just like he, oh, you know, he said judge, righteous judgment. Read it, John chapter 7. Read Matthew chapter 7, sir. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't be a liar. Don't twist the word of God and call truth a lie. Oh, Jesus said, you hypocrites, from the heart the mouth speaks. You speak out vile words because that's what's in your heart. You cuss and swear because that's what's in your heart. You fornicate because that's what's in your heart. You lie and you steal because that's what's in the heart. No, God doesn't say, oh, I love the sinner, but I hate the sin. No, God casts the sinners and the sin all into the lake of fire together. Haters of God, haters of Jesus Christ, of lovers of pleasure rather than Hating lovers of us. God, on all of us right having now. a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. Oh, woe to you, God says, you call evil good and good evil. Oh, when God gives you the woe, you will fear and tremble. See, God said this is love, that you keep His commandments. This is love. When you love God, you obey God. If you say you love God, but you don't obey God, you don't know His commandments, you make God a liar. And you're not the light. There's no light in you, but you walk in darkness. This is what the Bible says. God's loving you right now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I worship Jesus Christ who sits upon the throne. I worship the one who crushed the devil. I worship the one who has the power over death, Jesus Christ. Oh, you know what God's going to do to you on the day of judgment? Jesus Christ is going to go like this. I have the keys of death and hell. I am the one who is alive, who is dead and is alive forevermore. He has overcome. He has conquered sin and death. Jesus Christ came to save his people from their sin. If you're still in sin, praise God. At least I have something that I can get high on and not be a drug addict or a drug dealer or a drunkard. Jesus Christ said rivers of living water would flow forth from his children. Oh, God's going to tell you to shut up on the day of judgment, sir. I know, but you don't have to. Hey, it's not going to be warm. Why don't you go jump into a volcano? Oh, I know. That's your brain, isn't it? Between your legs. That's what you do. You're led about by your lust, by your desires, by your passions. You're not children of God, children of the devil. I'm good, thank you. You're not good. You're evil and wicked. You're not good before God. 